Yes, yes, and we actually lost to them 3 0 in the regular season. But from the day that we lost to them at the council, I told them that they were going to win the championship and that they were going to see this team in the championship and they were going to win. And so they believed it and they did it and they put the work in and we made a few adjustments. But honestly, they did they they did everything. They earned this win from start to finish and they won 2 0. Thank you. And you told me about the solid field hockey you wanted, wanted your team to play. Yes. Today, I can see that. Yes, uh, yeah. Just talk about the way this team's come along, second year, second trip here, and now right. a, a different result. They've put in the work. I mean, um, it's a skilled group of athletes that are dedicated, and they truly believe every day that they hit the fields that they are going to work the hardest, that they are going to work for their goals. And they set goals, and they achieved every single one of them that I put in front of them, whether it's skill, hustle, conditioning, teamwork, grades, every single thing. They work every single day to be the best that they can be for each other, for their teammates, for their school, for this program. And these girls built this program from a little program to a championship program in a short amount of time. And I owe it to the players and I owe it to their work. And, you know, they never look back. They never say no. And I tell them to jump and they jump 250 feet higher than I've asked them to. A lot of teams come out underdogs they have you know a good first swing and then that right. momentum dies you guys just kept coming right i think that's what this team is all about this group of girls is i love to be the underdog i think there's nothing more terrifying than an underdog mentality and um they play that card well and i think it just fed them if you tell them that they can't do something they don't even comprehend it so you know they every morning they believe that they were going to win this championship and they did everything they needed to do to win the championship and to them there's no underdogs to them is the greatest thing in the world what was your <laughs> message to them this morning i heard you talking about you yeah. yeah so I, I send them an email so when they wake up in the morning they say positive affirmations so today they said today is going to be the greatest day of my life I believe that I am mentally, mentally and physically prepared. I believe that I am a champion. I believe that my teammates are champions. And I believe today that we are going to be victorious. And your, your defense, you had I think, maybe six <laughs> penalty corners in a row there. Yeah. Your goal, goalie comes up with she's a shutout. She's amazing. Did you see that? She's even smacking him down. I said at halftime, I said, I've never seen a goalie do the things that Katie's done today much less a high school goalie do what Katie's done today. So I let the reins go because they were further away from me in the second half. And I said, you listen to Katie and you do whatever she says to do. But she motivates them. And if you can see her in the goal, she literally pushes them out. And if their legs are tired, she tells them they're not. And the girls tell themselves that their legs aren't tired. And they go. They're on autopilot. And they look to the right and the left of them. And they believe in each other. And they do it for the girls standing next to them. And it's like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Teams take on the person. <laughs> you, you wear your emotions on your sleeve, as, as do the girls. How does that, right. that, that synergy work? Well, well I think that passion is a great, great thing. Um, I think that a lot of people think it's not cool to be passionate about things. And I say the opposite. I say if you're passionate about something, your energy, you harness that into good, positive things. And it is so cool to be passionate about things. And um, that passion lives on the field. And, you know, you feel it in your body and you what you feel inside you can come out. And that's okay. And you, and you live it and it's contagious. And these girls every day, they come by each other in the hallways. They're high-fiving and the whole team is behind each other. The whole school's behind them. So I just think it's a contagious type of energy that we're smiling all the time, we're positive all the time, there's no negative, and it's okay to be passionate, and it's okay to be energetic. And I mean, that's something we were talking about. <laughs> you on the sideline, then we looked at the good council coaches, and uh, maybe that was the problem. They were too, <laughs> too you know, nonchalant, and you guys were right. ready to kill people. Yeah, well, <laughs> these girls really wanted it, and I think if you want something bad enough, you can, you can achieve it, and they really wanted this. They've been talking about it for a long time, and, and they wanted it, and I think it showed. Yeah. Um, could I get 